In today's video, we are going to be talking about what to fast pass at Epcot. Now, Epcot has two fast pass tiers, and what this means is that you can choose from two separate categories. You could choose one fast pass from the first category and two fast passes from the second category. Every, everything that everybody's gonna wanna have is gonna be in tier one and then a lot of the other stuff's gonna drop down to tier two, so. Yeah. Um, if you notice kind of some, why did we choose um, a couple of the rides that we did, it's because we were not able to choose three from tier one. Yep. So the way around this is to try to have two days at Epcot. Um, I think out of all the parks, and see now Magic Kingdom does not have the tier system, so you have tons of choices at Magic Kingdom. It has the most rides and attractions that you can fast pass. You can choose three from the entire list. Mm -hmm. But with Epcot, Animal Kingdom, and Hollywood Studios, they all have the tier system, so all of those most popular rides are going to be in tier one, which you could choose one from that category, and then the other rides would be in tier two. The thing about Epcot, though, is there's the fewest popular rides to choose yeah. from in the second category, whereas at Hollywood Studios and Animal Kingdom, they both still have a lot of um, a lot of really a few, good rides. Yeah. I mean, this one is, for tier one, you've got three or four. Of the big rides. And that's so. it. Yeah. So anyway, so we're gonna run through the list and tell you what we would choose there and why. Now, we are a family of five, and we have a son who is almost 13, and we have two daughters, one who's going on 12 and one who's seven. So this is a big reason why we choose some of the things that we choose for our family. This will weigh heavily into tier one at Epcot. Yes, this is why we're prefacing it to now. Um, so, tier one at Epcot, you could choose one out of Frozen Ever After, Illuminations, um, Soren and Test Track. So what what do we choose? We always go to Frozen. Mm -hmm. um, especially with the girls and the way that they are. That's probably their favorite thing out of all four parks. Mm -hmm. So yeah. yeah, I mean we tend to, to fast pass that one to make sure that we get to it. It's also a lot of times just a ridiculous line. The, that, that's what I was going to say is you, if you don't have kids in your household that care at all about Frozen or if you just don't really care about seeing it, Maybe don't worry about this ride so much unless you have, unless you really want to go see. You have young, young girls. Frozen. Yeah. yeah, I mean it's, and that's why we do it. It's because yeah. that's their probably their favorite thing out of ten days in four parks. Yeah, they love Frozen Ever After. So I mean, even with our ten day park passes, we usually use fast passes at Epcot three of those days, and we would put Frozen Ever After. Um, in our number one choice well, other, all three of those days. <clears throat> the other ones, I mean, you've got Illumination, Soarin', and Test Track. They're not that long, no. typically. I mean, well, Soarin', Illumin sometimes, Illuminations, it is what it is, it's a show. Yeah, so, yeah. yes, Illuminations, we actually did fast pass that on our last trip, because I think we had a fourth day or something. Yeah. And we did fast pass Illuminations, and I didn't think it was worth it. Um, it was okay, but I, I feel like we I don't had, remember it, so it must not have been. It was our too, last night there. It must not have been too much better than. It was a cool spot. Regular illuminations. It was a really cool spot that they put you in, but you still have to. There's a long fast pass line, so everybody still lined up like I an hour that. and a half yeah. before the show. Instead of like normally, we would just kind of casually stroll around World Showcase, find a spot along the lagoon, and then plant ourselves there and wait for the show. And we might do that an hour and a half before and just relax, but, um, and, and that's not a bad idea, but that night we had to get in line really early. The line was the miles fast pass long. Line was, yeah, yeah, was long. In front of us, and then by the time they told us we could go in, it was probably 15 minutes till showtime or something, and people just made a mad dash. They ran like bulls. I didn't feel like it was too much better no. than just regular illuminations. No. You know, a lot of times, what is it, Rosencrown? Yeah. The English pub. Mm -hmm. We'll watch it from over there, and it's usually yeah. Or pretty, Norway. We've also yeah. watched it from like the Norway, that's Mexico good. area, and that's a good area. Yeah, it's, it's so. pretty good compared to, I mean, maybe this one's a little better, but I don't know. Yeah. For a fast pass, not, I, to us, it's not worth it. Right, and then and then with Soren, like Bob said, you know, it did used to have a long line, um, but ever since they added, they added another screen, I believe. It was a whole new screen that they added. So ever since they did that, the line really hasn't been too bad. I mean, 
if you have to wait 30 minutes, I don't think that's too bad for Soren. It really isn't. And with Test Track, the way around that one is to really just first thing in the morning, if you already have your Frozen Ever After Fast Pass, go straight to Test Track. The line won't be long, especially if you go during extra magic hours. The other thing, Test Track has a better line. Yeah, it does. You know what I mean? It's, it sounds stupid, but it does. You, you design a car, and you do this, and you do that, and then there's cars to look at, and there's all kinds of stuff to look at. It, it it's Frozen kind of seems like it's just you're standing there waiting in a, in a, in a roped-off line. Yeah. So Test Track does seem to have a more... Um, Hands-on. Interactive, yeah. yeah. Interactive hands-on line. Yeah. Okay, so that's our reason why we choose Frozen Ever After. It's really just because of the length of the line. Um, the ride is good. I, and our family dynamic. I still liked it, but it's kind of one of those like every once in a while rides for me. I wouldn't need to see it on every single trip. Yep. Um, okay, so then from tier two, there just aren't very many like great rides to no. choose from here. And that's why Epcot is going to be putting in some new rides. And yep. it's going to make a big difference in a few years. Um, there will be a lot more to choose from, so we're really looking forward to the update at Epcot. It's needed it for a while. So, I would choose, well, we'll let Bob go first because this is his favorite yeah. ride. She, she wants she wants me to, to do this one because it's my favorite ride out of all four parks is Living with the Land. And even a lot of times with this one, we've seen it where you can almost walk right on. Yeah. Um, there, but there has been the occasional time if it's raining outside, everybody flocks inside, and then the yeah, line will be it's an hour, hour long. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so it depends on the weather, um, but it's a cool ride, um, and it's inside, and mm -hmm. you know, just kind of sit back, and relax. The third one that I choose for our family to fast pass is Spaceship Earth, and this is another one. Sometimes it'll be a five-minute wait and other times it'll be 45 minutes. I have roasted in that line yeah. before though. Yeah, because that line, it comes outside and once it, it hooks around the side of the building, yeah. you're staying on the sun, it gets hot. It, it's funny, it seems like it depends on, this, on a certain time of day when everybody's entering the park. They see that it's the first ride right there as soon as you come in through the front entrance. Oh, there's a ride and they get in line for it. And so if you go first thing in the morning, a lot of times the, ride, the wait time can be 45 minutes. And if you go like maybe in the afternoon when that second huge rush is coming in again, Everybody come back you'll, to the park. you'll yeah. see another 45 minute wait time. So, but it's a, it's a great ride. I mean, it is worth that. It's a cool passing. ride, yeah. Out of the choices that you have on this list, yep. those are the ones I would choose. I mean, you have other things like your character meets. I don't ever see that those are really long wait times. You have like Mickey, Minnie, Goofy, Pluto, and you can meet those at a lot of the restaurants and many other locations around the park. And if it's a long line right now, maybe if you wait an hour and a half from now, it's a five minute wait, so you can always go back. And then really some of the other things are shows, like um, Turtle Talk with Crush and the Pixar short films. Anytime there's a show, then everyone's going to be entering at the exact same time, and that's why it's not usually worth using a fast pass for that, because you, they might light you in a little bit early, but even all the fast pass people are gonna be going in at the same time. So it's you're still gonna be running for seats and running for a place to sit. Um, and then Mission Space. And those usually aren't the worst lines either. No. Like if you're waiting for one, you're waiting inside, it's air conditioned. So even if you have to wait 20 right, minutes, right, right. it's yeah. not that bad. And then like Nemo, I've, I we have fast pass Nemo before, but really the longest part of that entire line, there's really never a wait. It says usually about five minutes, but that's because it takes five minutes to walk through that long line. <laughs> the line is so insanely long, it just loops back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Yeah. And then you just walk on the ride. So I think really that's that's why it's even five minute wait. Usually there's no wait for that. Uh, Mission Space, we usually skip because it makes us nauseous. And then Journey into Imagination with Figment, maybe a 10 minute line, it's it's not. Yeah, I don't remember that one being very yeah, long. Yeah, it's not. So, so yeah, that's why we choose what we would choose at Epcot. Tier one, we choose Frozen <laughs> Ever After. And from tier two, Living with the Land and Spaceship Earth. So we hope that you found today's video useful and it'll help you make some decisions on your upcoming Disney World vacation. Thank you guys so much for watching today. If you like what you saw, please consider subscribing. And if you'd like to see more videos like the one you saw today, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you everyone, have a great day. The rides that we're gonna recommend today are what we feel the most beneficial uses of your fast passes to make the best use of your time. Rides that typically have the longest wait times 
and you get the best use out of the fast pass to save the most time.